Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming. I am your host Richard and today we are back with uh, how to and this week is how to EV train your Pokemon and get them battle ready uh, to go along with our uh, last week's video of how to breed competitive Pokemon. If you haven't seen that video go check that out first I kind of explain that process um, part one part two kind of thing you know. So this week we are going to continue with our Trico that we bred last time. Um, our uh, 5 IV Trico, I believe it was. Let me check on him. Let me check on the little boy. It is our 5 IV Trico, so that is what we're going to be EV trained today. As you guys saw, I also had a few other Pokemon in the party. Swine Up, Lotad will also be getting the same kind of training um, as the Trico for the most part. So, um, I'm going to go over what you guys need first. Uh, first off, you're going to need um, your Pokemon that you want to EV train. Uh, you also need to know where you want to take them. Um, depending on which thing you're doing, if you're doing the super training, which I'll show you first, uh, you'll need to have everything unlocked uh, in the super training. To do that, you need to um, defeat every super training uh, scenario in both the first and second page, and then you'll have all three of them. It'll be awesome, and that's that's how you do it. Um, and then if you want to do a horde training, which I'll show you in the second part, you will need the power items, which we will go through when we get to that point. You will need the experience share, which you get in the game. You just have to turn it on. You'll also need um, a Pokemon with a spread move, like Rock Slide or Earthquake or Heat Wave, depending on what you're going up against. Um, if they're flying Pokemon, you'll need... Something other than Earthquake. Otherwise, Earthquake is amazing. Because um, it hits every time. And you'll also need a Pokemon with Sweet Scent or a lot of Honeys. I prefer Sweet Scent because Honey you need to collect. Um, whereas Sweet Scent's an easy thing. Fly is also good, but in this game there's the Eon Flute, so you don't need a flying Pokemon as much. Now, <clears throat> we're going to hop right into this here, guys. So we got our Trico. Um, for Sceptile... Typically, you want to run 252 EVs in speed, 252 EVs in special attack, and 4 or 6 in these games um, in something else. <coughs> I think I'm going to run it in HP because that's just kind of the uh, the overall... Actually, it might be... I might go defense. Special defense. I'm going to go special defense on this one just because uh, maybe we'll live in ice type move if we're lucky. But... Um, to find really good EV spreads, I suggest going to Smogon and looking up your Pokemon. Um, you guys have probably heard of Smogon. It's the, uh, not the official, but it's one of the more highly ranked um, websites that give you suggested sets for competitive Pokemon. Um, they have their own tier list, that kind of stuff. Again, that's not the official Pokemon stuff, so don't think you have to run by their their uh, their rules. But it's it's a it's a really good tool to use when you're trying to uh, when you're just starting out um, to try out some sets first before you start getting too crazy with your EVs and setting up for certain Pokemon that kind of stuff. Um, now, super training is a really good way to get a specific amount of EVs. Like, say you want to be like, oh, I want 60 in attack and uh, 120 and special defense and that kind of stuff. That's all great. I don't suggest starting with those kind of Pokemon when you're starting out. You can do that, um, but... And Smogon will have those sets for you uh, for which ones work with that kind of stuff. But that's for more like the advanced stuff where you're trying to do certain things for certain Pokemon. Uh, you want to stand up to other certain Pokemon in the tier, that kind of thing. But uh, we're just doing general thing, um, and this works for a lot of Pokemon where it's going to be 252 and 2 of the different um, uh, stats, and then 4 or 6 in the other one. Um, now, you guys asking, what what do you mean by 252? Now, each, each stat um, can get up to 250 effort value points, which is what EV stand for, in each stat. But you can only put uh, 508 comma 510 because they upped it to six in uh x and y um instead of four or they upped it to 510 instead of 508 total uh effort value points that you can put into each pokemon so you can't just max everything out there's a certain amount you can 
put into all together, which is 510. Um, technically 508. I keep it's it's weird saying that because usually it's only four, but I believe they upped it to six because you're able to do that with X and Y um, and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So again, we're gonna um, I'm not going to specifically do um, all of my EV training um, in the Super Train. I'm just gonna show how it's done, just because it's easier uh, with Pokemon that are doing five uh, 252 in certain stats to just do it that way. Um, to do horde training with them, that is. But I will do the, uh, the, um, special defense right now. So, I don't know how many I have here for you guys. Um, I got some super bags here. There's two ways to, uh, super train. There is the balloon bots, which is the main way, and then there's also the, um, <coughs> the bags here. So... What they are is they come in small, medium, and large sizes. Smalls you're not going to use that often because <clears throat> smalls only count for one EV point. Um, usually with those, it is just faster to do the uh, the bot training instead of trying to hit this bag multiple times for one. So usually you just click on a bag. Uh, we got a medium here, which counts for four, I believe. Because small is one, medium is four, and large, which we have a large uh, speed bag here, is 12. Um, and then there's also some other random ones. There is the uh, the double uh, the double up bag, which you use to get double the points um, in it when you go up against one of the balloon bots. There's also reset bags. I don't have any of those. Those are just white bags, and that's how you reset all of your EV points. Now, disclaimer, they will reset all of your EV points. So it will get rid of all of them. So you'll be back to zero. But it works out really well if you want to like get a different EV spread, that kind of stuff. So right now we are going to do the large bag um, to get 12 speed points on Trico. All you do is you just you just tap it. Just tap it for a while. Trico hits it. It's pretty... F it's, it's, it's not fun. It's, it's just something to do, I guess. Um, easy, mindless stuff if you're like watching TV... Watching YouTube videos from your favorite YouTuber, say uh, Sharp Dress Gaming, maybe uh, that kind of stuff. So there, it just takes a few clicks there, and you'll hit it. He'll glow, and then it'll show you um, how many points he gets and what stat. That's well. Sometimes, like you see there, they will pick up random bags. Um, so you got that. And the the most common way to get to get these bags are from the balloon bots. Now, I'm going to show you Balloon Bot, but first I'm going to do the uh, the double up bag. So when we do one of the Balloon Bots, it will actually double how many points we typically get from them. So we're going to go into here, to the Balloon Bots. And they have three levels. Uh, this is why I said you have to clear them, because then it opens all of them. So we got level one, which all of these will give you four points in their respective EV uh, spots. We have level two, which does eight points. And then we have level 3 that does 12 points. Now, I just remembered I was supposed to be doing special defense, so I messed up. Um, I'll do special defense at the end, whatever. Um, I'm just going to do one of the small ones, just because it's faster. Um, they get more complicated, and they take more hits, and they do more damage to you um, as they get bigger. So, typically, when you have a small Pokemon, like I just have Trico, who has a little bit of speed, he, you're not going to want to go right to level 3. I do sometimes because I'm dumb, but um, typically you want to start with the lowest one and continue up. Now, um, you have a certain amount of time that you have to do it in. Uh, you don't have to beat the record to get the points, but the uh, the higher or the better time you have, the bigger bag they usually give you uh, or more special bag they give you so typically you want to start out low and if you're going to be doing any speed EV training I suggest doing speed first uh, just because it helps you zip around a little bit faster so you don't get hit as much um, I don't even know if there's no uh, uh, if we can hit that I don't even know if there's no even or there's no bat will get off an attack oh it's getting off one so you just kind of have to avoid um, you can zoom in with the directional pad and zoom out uh, you move with your joystick and you can use a shield. We'll try and use a shield here um, with your left button. So he's going to blast at us. You just hit the left button, hold up the shield, and then you don't get hit by the ball. Simple as that. 
Um, another pretty easy thing to do when you're watching TV. You have to pay a little bit more attention to it just because you're trying not to get hit. That kind of stuff. But again, speed's probably the better thing to do because you can zoom around a little bit faster to start off um, if you are investing in any speed. Otherwise, you know, just kind of go at it. Um, so we we got a large even though I don't think we made the time. So it's just kind of random sometimes too with uh, what they give you. So that's what super training is. Um, and of course... I, I like to keep up the super training thing even when I'm doing the horde training because it shows you uh, where your stats are. Now we're going to get into horde training here. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Uh, it's going to be to serebi.net and it's going to show you what every horde battle is in the game. Now depending on what kind of Pokemon you're battling, uh, it determines which EV you're getting. Like, um, I want speed EVs. So... What I do, um, you go to that uh, to that page. I'm actually going to pull it up here after I'm done zooming around on my little my little doodily. Pull it up here. Um, this is the wrong page. This is the right page. So these are all the hordes you can encounter in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Um, if you go to the far corner, it says effort values. This is where you're going to be looking. So we want speed. So right away we see a Zigzagoon hordes give you one speed point per Zigzagoon. So you'll be getting a total of five points off of all these Zigzagoons, and I'll show you how to make that even better. Um, there are other Pokemon that give you speed points, like you see Wingo and Talo down there. Zigzagoon is probably the best one to use, um, not because it gives you more, but because you see them more often than any other Pokemon in their area. Um... If you guys also have the strategy guide, there's there's uh, for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, there's a really good page that shows you which hordes you should look for for each stat, just be a, uh, how common the horde is, so it's easier to find them. So Zigzagoon is what we're going to use. Um, the location is also right here, so I'll show you where to find them. I go to Route 101, just because there's only Zigzagoon and Puccina hordes there, and the Puccina horde are rarer to find. So we are going to go and do that. I am going to go back to where are we? There we are. Back to uh, our two our 3DS. I'm not playing my 2DS. Am I crazy? Um. So like I said, each horde is going to give you a total of five points. Now to increase that, first off, you need um exp share on for this to work. Uh, to get the EV points, unless you're at, like, if you're, I was using Trico to attack these Pokemon, I wouldn't need the EXP point or the EXP thing on. Um, so to increase this, we have the power items, like I mentioned earlier in the uh, in the episode. So what you do, um, you get these power items from the I don't know if it's called the Battle Maze Zone in this game. But that, uh, the place in the battle resort where you just do a bunch of battles over and over again and you get battle points, you buy it from there, um, with battle points, of course. Um, I have six of all of them just because, uh, I like to have six of all of them in case I'm doing all of my team as the same stat. But what you do is you have these Pokemon hold up. We have, uh, the power include, which is speed, which is what we're doing. There's also the power belt, does defense, power bracer, does attack. Power Band does Special Defense, Power Lens Special Attack, Power Weight HP. So we'll go back up here and we'll give speed. Now I want my Trico to be getting the speed points, I want my Swine Up to be getting the speed points, and I want my Lotad to be getting the speed points. Don't bring any Pokemon you don't want getting these speed IVs. Um, as you can see, I have a Charizard, a, uh, a Victory Bell, and a Talonflame. All of those Pokemon are fully EV trained. Actually, the bottom two are just like random EVs because I don't use them for battling. But Charizard's already EV trained, so I don't have to worry about him getting EVs. So that's why I brought them. So don't bring any Pokemon you don't want getting speed EVs. Otherwise, they're going to get them and you'll be messed up. Now, with those power items, it adds an additional four. It adds an additional four points to each Pokemon that you knock out to get the EV points. Uh, of speed. So say you knocked out the Zigzagoon. From one Zigzagoon you're going to get one point plus four points from your power item getting a total of five points. So with five Zigzagoons you're getting 25 points for that EV point off of that Zigzagoon. Now say <coughs> excuse me, I woke off. Say you had another multiplier like Pokerus. For those who don't know, Pokerus is a 
air quote disease um, in Pokemon games that you can either find randomly on wild Pokemon, it's very rare to find, or you can get it from somebody trading you the uh, a Pokemon with the Pokey Rust. Um, and the way to spread it, <clears throat> my Char or my Smog number two, or my Smog the second has Pokey Rust, and as you can see next to the level, there's a pink bar that says Pokey Rust. Now to spread that amongst my Pokemon, I need to have him in front of the Pokemon I want to spread it to. And then usually I attack with him and it spreads it. Um, sometimes it, it goes right away, sometimes it takes a few battles, um, and that kind of stuff. And and to cure Poke Rust, you actually have to battle with them. So while you're spreading it, you're also curing it. So you want to spread it to as many Pokemon as you can. I have a lot of Pokemon with Poke Rust already, so I'm, I'm going to be set for a while, hopefully um, for as long as I need them. So I've got Poke Rust on the Charizard, and I just want to show you... Um, Vic my Victory Bell used to have Pokey Rust. Now, to know how it's been cured, is you see the little pink smiley face next to the blue pentagon? The pink smiley face is the cured of Pokey Rust symbol. So, once you're cured of Pokey Rust, you can never get it again. So, you want to get the EV trading done as quick as possible before these Pokemon get cured of Pokey Rust. Um... So with that being said, Pokey Rust doubles the the effort point value you get. So we'll go back to our Zigzagoon example. Zigzagoon gives you one speed point. If you have your Power Anklet, you're getting five speed points from that Zigzagoon. Now, if you have Pokey Rust on the Pokemon getting these points, it doubles it, so you'd be getting ten EV points. Now, if you're battling a horde of Zigzagoons, you're getting ten from each of those, getting a total of fifty points from Zigzagoon hordes. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll go right down into this here grass. I will go and use Sweet Scent. Now Sweet Scent always brings a horde every time. This is why you want Sweet Scent or Honey because Honey does the same thing. Just running around looking for horde is it'll take too long. You'll run out of Pokey Rust. All that kind of stuff. It'll take forever. Now see Sweet Scent zigzagoon right away. And this is where the spread move comes in. Um, my Charizard has Heat Wave or Rock Slide. I could go for either. I'm just going to go for Heat Wave. Hopefully I don't miss. Um, that's why you typically want to use Earthquake. Because Earthquakes isn't going to miss as long as they're uh, not flying type Pokemon. But it knocks them all out at once. And right now we are getting 25 points per Pokemon. Because our Pokemon don't have Poke Rust yet. Um, but we're going to check and see which one of them have got it yet. Um, and as you can see this also helps because it also levels up your Pokemon at the same time. Uh, so that's that's real nice right there. As you can see, there's already a big spike um, down on the Super Train. I went a little fast, sorry. But it um, doesn't look like we got Poke Rust yet. And Charizard still has it. So you just got to keep battling until you get it. Um, I'll go back and we'll see the bottom screen, how there's already a giant spike. I know we already uh, trained Trico a little bit, so I'll show you um, Swine Up. Swine Up doesn't have as big of a spike, and Low Tad doesn't either. And I'm actually going to leave it on Low Tad, because Low Tad will be the last one to get the Pokey Rust, so it's going to take him the longest to get um, all of the EVs and speed. <coughs> so we're just going to grab another battle here, see if I can show you um, show you the uh, the uh, Pokey Rust uh, spreading, just so you guys know that this this is how you spread the Pokey Rust um, in your battles. So we'll Heat Wave, knock out all these zigzags. They're all dead. Dead and gone. Um, there's also a lot of other uh, uses for hordes. You can find Pokemon with hidden abilities in hordes. It's a lot easier to find shinies in hordes. Um, it's not It's not guaranteed, but they're, they, they can be found in hordes easier because you're encountering more of the Pokemon. Um, especially in areas like this. I'll probably find a shiny Zigzagoon at some point because I run into so many Zigzagoons here. Um, and there we got a toughen up bag. I usually don't use those. <coughs> it's all preference. Um, still no Pokey Rust. Uh, sometimes it takes forever for it to spread, and sometimes it just works right away. Uh, so usually what I do, because usually it'll be like Trico and Swinub will get Pokey Rust, but not Lotad. I'll then switch Lotad in between Trico and Swinub, just so it spreads easier. Um, because then he's surrounded by Pokey Rust. I don't know. It's like a chicken pox party or something. Uh, we're going to Heat Wave one more time. If we don't get Pokey Rust, 
whatever. Um, I'll just cut out and I'll cut back in after our Trico is fully EV trained to show you what that looks like and then we will start to get uh, some moves on them. Uh, Trico level 4, low tide level 4. Uh, swine up did not get a level. I think swine up already grew a level last time. But see, your uh, low tides already starting to get that little spike at the bottom. Uh, still no Pokeros, which is sad. Um, low tide? No, wait, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to. I wanted to show you. There. See, you already got that big spike going on down there because of we're getting 25 points every time. But I'm gonna cut out here, guys. I'm gonna fully EV train our Trico, and uh, we will come back when I am. I'm done with that. Alright guys, so we are back with our fully trained, fully evolved Sceptile. Got him right here. Um, just remember guys, when you are doing your EV training, leveling up stuff, um, some Pokemon only learn moves through their pre-evolutions, like uh, Sceptile for example. Uh, only Trico learns Giga Drain, so I had to keep it as a Trico to learn Giga Drain, and then I could evolve it. And then uh, Dragon Pulse was through the Move Tutors, Focus Blast was TM, Leaf Storm, Sceptile learns by itself. Um, it doesn't learn until like level 46, but it does learn it as a starting move apparently. So you can heart scale that. So that's what I did. And there is our beautiful, beautiful Sceptile. Um, remember guys, be sure to be looking at egg moves and all that crazy stuff beforehand so you don't accidentally mess up and have to go back to um to the, to the drawing board to get those moves um so yeah this that's basically all all you have to do oh um one thing i wanted to show you how to know that your uh your pokemon's fully ev trained there's that little guy with a uh, flex in his muscles above the um the punchy bag that means they are fully ev trained so with that, um, oops, I can never push the right buttons. I'm going to go, go, uh, get us a quick little battle here, show off our, show off our new Mega in battle, and that's gonna end off this video, guys. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, please be sure to, uh, leave a like and a comment, um, saying that it helped you out. If it didn't help you out, um... Or I guess you just didn't like it. Hit that dislike, but tell me um, if I could be doing anything better to to uh, get the point across, to explain explain the uh, the goal of these videos better um, if you just didn't understand it. But again, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you on the next how-to video. Bye.